Hey there, Bracey here. So, I have been nice and hard at work all all day yesterday, all night, and, and since early this morning. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I am working on a prototype. Uh, it's kind of like a gamified version of of the QPVR, pl QPVR platform, and tonight is a user test. I'm taking it to a small, um, just game night, and ultimately, that's what I'm shaping the this version of of the platform to be is kind of like something that I could bring six six to eight duff, uh, headsets, Google Daydreams, in a duffel bag um, to to like a, a game night and share it with. Uh, with some friends. It's all locally networked. Worked with this uh, company called Parallux. They're really cool. They made this awesome uh, local networking software for f for uh, virtual reality and augmented reality and kind of tying together all these um, diverse platforms, hardware solutions for virtual VR and AR together so people can have like a locally, uh, a local experience with VR, but also tie together any timed elements that might be like a play or something like that um, in VR. Uh, uh, some kind of animations, making sure that those things play synced and stuff like that. So you can basically have an experience with other people. I took that that foundation and used it to gamify. Uh, basically, it's, it's like a new, it's like a VR version of escape the room, but instead of escape the room, you're jumping through portals and you need to find the end, find your way to the end collectively. And so different portals take you take you back, randomize you, and other portals take you forward, and you've gotta find the path forward and find a way to communicate that because it's not anything that you can really, uh, uh, it's not necessarily made easily to be like, all right, go left, go right, go up, go down, because it's, it's, it's teleporting you from one location to the next, and you're just standing wherever you were looking, and you have to find a way of being like, all right, over the back of his head uh, is da-da-da-da, and, and when you, it's fun. It's, it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm excited. Um, it's, I, I, run into some, I ran into some complications. Um, yeah, I, I had some kinks. Things are a little kinky, uh, but, but, but nothing, nothing bad, nothing that is disastrous, I think. Uh, uh, tonight will be a fun learning experience, uh, and I've got it. So far, it's just been me and some styrofoam heads uh, testing this thing out, so it'd be really fun to, to get some feedback. Um, I, I, there's so many things I could, I could do with it, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. That's ultimately the idea. If you're going to do anything, you, you've got to just be okay with just starting. you got to be okay with just... Uh, a sucking out of the gate and if you can get okay with just just sucking out of the gate just starting and and sucking at the same time uh, uh, you can pretty much accomplish anything uh, at least I, I I fully believe that uh, it's allowed me to accomplish a lot of things that I've been doing I've done uh, I've done a lot of stuff in my day uh, I've directed a TV series uh, it was the first to be released for bit BitTorrent. Uh, we made a six episode arc series, and I say we, I did this uh, with my friend Josh Bernard, he uh, he wrote the series, I directed it, and together we were uh, the producers, and uh, I'm really proud of it, Potent uh, Pioneer One, um, it, it came out 10 years ago now, like this is the 10 year anniversary, not today specifically, uh, um, wouldn't that be a trip if it were, uh, uh, but it, it got a lot of awards, like it, it was downloaded eight, over eight million times. Like I'm really proud of it, uh, and that whole thing, that whole whole saga was just a, a lesson in just diving in, just dive in. We didn't we didn't know how to do a TV series, uh, but we really wanted to do it, and we felt like there was enough out there that we could learn, and there's enough that we had enough track ahead of us that we could learn as we went. And, and, it, and it worked out. Was it the best series in the world? No, but it, it was worth diving in, and I recommend it to, to anyone. Um, uh, here's something that I found out is really important. Uh, uh, basically, you need to learn how to enjoy something. So it, like, if you wanna learn something, 
do it in the smallest bit, the most smallest little bit that you can taste, and, and find a way to enjoy that little taste of it. Because uh, if you enjoy that little taste of it, chances are you're going to do it again. And if you can just make sure it's enjoyable as you ramp up and don't get too much out of the, uh, the enjoyable, enjoyable spot, like it'll be easy to, easier to acclimate to whatever it is that you're trying to learn or trying to do. Um, I should listen to my own advice and, and start learning Italian. You have no idea. I'm, I, I got to. I got to. I'm, I'm going to. I don't, I don't know what the hang up is other than I just didn't start it yet. I think it's just because it's never on the for forefront of my mind, uh, which is the other thing you got to make it on the forefront of your mind. Okay, so uh, I'm officially, I'm officially starting that now. Uh, here we go. Uh, so you can see uh, what it's like. I, I suck at Italian. I uh, my my wife speaks Italian. Uh, my 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 um my kids are learning Italian. Uh, it's it's time for me to learn. So uh, I do this daily. I do a lot of other things daily, and now I'm going to find a way to f just step in and make it fun. I'm gonna probably just like learn a real, like a, a word a day initially, a really fun, funny word and find a way to tie it in. Ooh, ooh, maybe I'll even tie it into uh, to this. I'll tell you guys what my word a day is, and I'll even, I'll research it on the on the phone while I'm here, all right? So you're, you're part of my learning Italian experience now, all right? Here we go. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Bracy, and yeah, enjoy your journey.